internet community actually meets the much more conservative uh, automotive uh, environment. And, uh, and the whole situation is being heated up um, by, on one side, uh, the automotive manufacturers, of course, want to penetrate the connectivity space also. On the other side, however, the major players like Apple and Google uh, announcing uh, cars. The major fear is that the business model will change and the way to make money in the automotive area changes and uh, the automotive OEMs are then more or less degraded to some kind of, of hardware suppliers. In introducing um, advanced driver assistance systems, um, the car becomes a huge sensor. So that is, I think, the approach also of, of Google to go far beyond just uh, bringing to the market a, a product which drives on its own. It's very much a sensor which is driving around and which is a huge source of uh, data. So the infotainment system, connectivity systems um, to the car manufacturer is, is basically relevant in three areas. The first and traditional one is he wants to sell the, the system itself. Second is um, the opportunity which is offered through services. Yeah. And third, and I think most importantly, if a car is not offering the latest technology, it just will not be bought. What is the vision of, of the different players in this, in this area? Yeah? What do, for instance, uh, companies like Google and Apple, what, what do, what, how, how do they see the universe? And um, they see it very much like, um, like shown on this picture here. Uh, they have the vision of seamless connectivity, that you have your data and applications, you have in the cloud, and then you have access devices. And these access devices might be uh, your, your, your iPad, might be your smartphone, might be your TV, and might be your car also. So, so in, this, in this environment, uh, the, the car is just in another, another um, internet connectivity uh, device. So what is the vision of the automotive industry? Of course, this is not the vision of the automotive industry be, be degraded as, uh, as a, an internet connectivity device, but rather than that, harvest the potential um, uh, gains from the, different, uh, from the different services themselves. This is also the key factor of success for any, um, for any future um, connectivity on an infotainment system is not that it provides a certain functionality when it is being introduced. It's very much automotive thinking. Rather than that, it must provide an open platform that new functionality can be added much easier than it is uh, the case in the normal, traditional way how uh, automotive uh, companies are adding functionality. I think um, if, if, if somebody goes on his own, he will have no chance. Um, so the um, car manufacturers will not open up uh, the vehicle infrastructure to, to a Google. Yeah? This just will not happen. On the other side, uh, the, um, uh, the um, OEMs, in designing bespoke systems or setting up their own infrastructure, they are on a no-win position. This is just impossible. So the only way to me is that uh, you really either cooperate in a way that both parties really can, can, can continue to, to breathe yeah, and not somebody is, uh, is uh, uh, suppressing the other one, uh, or that you combine uh, those, um, those two worlds in an intelligent way.